Hi, I'm Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a sepia tone out of your photos with Adobe Photoshop Elements. First open the image that you want to apply the sepia tone to. Now duplicate the background. You can do that down in the Layers panel by just dragging your background layer onto the Create New Layer icon. And now what we need to do is have a black and white image but it has to be in RGB color mode. So if you're starting with a grayscale image, go up to the image uh, menu and choose mode. If your photo is a grayscale, grayscale will be checked and you can just go down and select RGB color and then it'll still remain black and white but now you'll be in RGB color mode and that's what you want. And if you're starting with a color photo like I am here, then go up to the Enhance menu and go down to Adjust Color and select Remove Color. And that will desaturate your image to uh, take all the color out of it. So now we're where we're at, we have a black and white image in RGB mode. So go over to your effects panel and if that's not visible you can go up to the window menu and just choose it from there it will appear on your desktop and in the effects panel there's a drop down menu with a, a lot of different categories in it and what we want to do is go down and select photographic effects and then you'll be presented with several swatches of different color tones that you can add to your image. And down in the lower left, there's one called sepia tone. And that's the one we want. So just double click that, and that will apply a sepia tone tint to your black and white layer. And you can stop there if that's the effect that you like. But I like my sepia tones to be a little warmer color this one looks a little neutral to me. So what I do at this point is go to the Layers panel and create a new adjustment layer and select Levels and then in the Adjustment panel go to the drop down at the top and select Red and then just move that middle slider over and it'll warm up your image with with a red tint so I'm gonna go to about 120 1.20 and now to add a little yellow we need to take out some blue so select blue from the drop down menu and again grab that middle slider and let's go down to about 0.80 or so And that's all there is to it. Now you have a classic sepia tone effect. I'm Rick, and to find lots more tutorials and helpful tips for Photoshop Elements, go to my website at EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Don't forget the dashes. Until next time, take care.